All right, so I'm gonna come out and say it, dude. The reason why I left YouTube isn't because I didn't enjoy the content and I, that I was making, because I did. I truly and fully enjoyed it. I did. I truthfully enjoyed the content that I made. But I got tired of being attacked every day, day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out, being attacked for over seven years by some fucking psychopath that is a complete and utter fucking sicko by the name of Music Biz Marty. That's why I left. It was because of the shit that he put me through. The hell that he put me through. And I understand that people want me to take responsibility for my actions. And I have. So many times I've taken responsibility. So many fucking times. But what I don't understand is why is it that nobody... Like, why is it that nobody is making these people that put me in this situation? Why is it that nobody is making them take responsibility for what they've done? Why is that? You know, people sit there and say, like, Oh, you thought that she was underage? No, I did not. I truthfully and genuinely thought that she was of age. I genuinely and truthfully thought that that Mastro Mafia, when she texted me, I thought that she said that she was 18. That's what I genuinely and truthfully believed. But yet, everybody wants to attack me and take everything at face fucking value. And it's fucking disgusting. Everybody wants to take everything at face value and attack me. And I'm tired of it. All I've ever tried to do is live my life and do better for myself. People say that like, oh, you're a pedophile. No, I'm not. If I was a pedophile, I would have been charged. If I was truthfully a pedophile, then why is it that when the police came down here, the FBI got called on me and detectives got called on me, why is it that when they got called out here, they all said the exact same thing, which is that I am not a pedophile and that I need to be more careful and that I am being targeted. If I was a pedophile, why is it that the police and the FBI and detectives all told me that shit? Why is that? It doesn't make sense. It's fucking retarded. Like, it does not make any sense. But all of these attacks and everything just weighing down on me, that's why I left. Because I got sick of the attacks. I got tired of the harassment. I got tired of being shot at. I got tired of being harassed. I got tired of being bullied. I got fucking tired of it. And I understand that over here it could be worse and that's fine, whatever, because I don't really post on here much anyway, which is fine. But I'm tired of the yelling. I'm tired of the fighting. That's why I left because I got sick and tired of all the bullshit. I got tired of fighting with my family over stupid shit. I got tired of fighting trolls over stupid shit. And I got sick and tired of YouTube not taking responsibility for what these people do. Like, YouTube needs to be held responsible for the shit that they're doing to people. Like, they need to be held responsible. And nobody is holding them responsible. 
and it's not right. And that's why I left, because YouTube's not doing their job. These people are getting away with doing fuck shit. It's fucking stupid. And, you know, people sit there and say, like, oh, it's over for you. You're never going to have a career again. You don't fucking know that. And this is what I was trying to get at. Is that it's not right. What these people do. It's not right that I'm not allowed to move on. But yeah, you got other people out here like Tony, who is a real life fucking pedophile. You got people out here like him that are real life pedophiles, doing real pedophile shit. Real fucking pedo shit. But yet, everybody wants to target me. You got guys like Daniel Larson who punched a fucking FBI agent and got arrested. That y'all could be covering, but yet, you choose to attack me. YouTube has basically ruined my life. They've ruined my life in the sense that they've not done anything about these people. They've ruined my life in the sense that I'm not allowed to do things that I want to do because of these trolls. Because of how fucking evil and vile they really are. You know, everybody says that that I owe the internet something and blah, blah, no I don't. I don't owe the internet shit. Everybody on the internet owes me something, dude. Everybody on the internet owes me something. I don't owe them. They owe me. I've written my wrongs. And, yeah, some people might say, like, oh, you've... They might... Some people might be saying, like, oh, um... You weren't punished properly, this and that and the other. Yes, the fuck I was. Seven years of pure fucking hell is torture enough. Seven fucking years of being bullied and being attacked. Seven fucking years of being tortured. Mentally, emotionally, verbally, physically. Seven fucking goddamn years of that shit. Of pure hell. And I get that, like, oh, to to the rest of the world, oh, you, you did this, you don't deserve that, man, fuck you. Half y'all motherfuckers that are on the internet weren't there. You're only going off of what the internet says. But here's the reality. Half the fucking internet is going off of what everybody else says. Half of them were not there. Half of them don't understand the context of what really went down with Mass Troll Mafia. A lot of people don't know that Music Biz Marty hired her to do that shit. Why? Because he has a sick fucking obsession with me. That's why. He has a sick disgusting obsession with me. I left because my mental health because of Marty is not great. My physical health, terrible. The man is a fucking sicko. He is very disturbed. He is disgusting. He is vile. And the fact that he can get away with that shit is disgusting to me. 
the fact that he can sit there on YouTube, target some random person, and make them look like something they're not is fucking disgusting to me. You know, it's not right that people get to attack me, but yet they don't. Like, people say that they want to do better, but yet they don't allow that to happen. Why is that? I can tell you why. Because they want the views. They want the money. And if you ask me, social media has fallen to that side of being a fucking joke. YouTube especially is a fucking joke. They talk about how they care about their smaller creators. No, they don't. They do not fucking care. If they cared, they wouldn't be allowing this kind of shit to go on on their platform. Which is why I left. Because I want to take a year and a half, two years off to get away from everything and to better myself. So that when I come back and the trolls leave, I can show that I'm actually a better person. You know, it's funny. People sit there on the internet and they act like they know me. You know, people sit there on the internet and they act like they fucking know me when they really don't know me. None of them take the time to get to know me. Which is what I don't understand. You know, I wouldn't be so angry all the time. I wouldn't be so volatile. I wouldn't be so disrespectful. If people would sit down, shut the fuck up, and actually get to know me as a person. You know, fuck what social media says. Fuck what the internet says. Fuck what YouTube says. Fuck what all these different websites say about me. Fuck all that shit. Get to know me as a fucking person. Get to sit down and actually talk to me. You know, actually sit down and fucking talk to me as a human being and get to fucking know me before you fucking judge me. Don't sit there and just go off of what social media says. Don't sit there and just go off of what the internet says. Dude, the internet is full of a bunch of fucking jackasses that think they know shit, but they really don't know anything. They weren't there. They don't fucking know. All they're seeing is one side of what's going on. That's all they're seeing. They're not seeing the bigger picture. They're not seeing the hell that I went through. Because let me tell you, man. There was a point about three and a half, four years ago. Where... They did so much to me. And they attacked me so badly. That I had attempted to take my own life two separate times. I had attempted to unalive myself two separate times. Because of what they put me through. Two separate times. I had attempted to take my own life. Because of what they put me through. I've been shot at. I've been attacked relentlessly. Last year, my mom had a brick thrown through the windshield of her fucking car to where we had to replace it. 
we had to spend almost three hundred dollars. My family's lives have been put in danger. My life's been ripped away from me. I can't do the things that I used to enjoy anymore. I used to go for walks. I can't do that anymore out of fear of being attacked. And all these trolls want to try to ruin my life. When all I want is a chance to show that I can be a better person. And people are always saying like, Oh, pedophiles don't deserve this and that and the other man. Shut the fuck up. I'm not truly a pedophile until I am arrested. When I am arrested and I am charged, that's when that comes into play. But not until then. And uh, like I said, the police have said it. The FBI has said it. And detectives have even said it. I am not a pedophile. I am being targeted for malicious reasons. And like I said, I understand that people want me to take responsibility for my actions. And I have. Many times. But no one wants to see that. No one wants to see... Me take response. Nobody wants to see me take responsibility. They all think that my way of taking responsibility for my actions is the wrong way. They act like there's only one, there's only one right way to to take responsibility and blah, blah blah. No, there's not. There's many different ways. Everybody has their own way of taking responsibility for their own actions. Just because somebody says, like, oh, I did this and that. And they know what they did. Just because they don't say it. That don't mean they're not taking responsibility. They're taking responsibility in their own way. The reason why I don't say what I did. Or what went down. Is because I know how the troll community works. They're going to take what. Like let's say that I do come out and say what went down. Okay, well, let's say that I do fully say everything that they want me to say. They're going to sit there and use it against me every fucking day. And do you know how many views they're going to make? How much money they're going to make off of me because of that? That's why I don't say anything. Because I know what these vile, evil, fucked up people are capable of. Like I said, I understand that I fucked up. I understand that people might not want me to try to move on and do better. But I want to do better. I want to do better for myself for my friends, and for my family. All I want is a team of people behind me willing to help me to be successful like I want. Whether that's on Twitch, on Kick, or wherever. I don't want to be on YouTube anymore. And that's what these trolls are trying to do. They're trying to force me onto YouTube where they can attack me. Without repercussion. The reason why I want to get back onto Twitch or onto Kick like I was. Is because of the fact that at least over there on either of those platforms I can't be fucked with. But yet every time I go over there I get falsely reported. Every time. For... Ban evading. When I'm not ban evading, I'm simply trying to start my life over. I'm trying to start and turn over a new leaf and show that I can do better. And show that I can be a better person. That's all I want, is to be able to show that. But yet, 
no one wants to let me do that, and I don't understand why. Like, I get that people think that I'm this, think that I'm that. I don't care what people think. I don't give a fuck about that. I give a fuck about trying to do better. I give a fuck about wanting to be better. I give a fuck about my people. I give a fuck about those that want to see me do better. And the reason why I won't be doing any more interviews is this. The reason why I will not be doing any more interviews is actually fairly simple. Because every time I do an interview, the interviewer ends up always attacking me and always trying to make me out to be this awful monster that I'm not. Because believe it or not, I'm not a bad person. I got caught in some very bad situations, yes. Yes, I did get caught in some fucked up situations. I get it. I fucked up. But why should I not be allowed to better myself and show that I can be a better person and show that I am sorry for what I did? And everybody's always like, oh, well, this is the only way. No, it's not the only way. You guys have your way of making things right. I have my way. There is no right or wrong way. There's really not. There is no right or wrong way on how you fix your life. There is no right or wrong fucking way to fix your life and do better. There's not. There's there's no true way. There's no right or wrong way to do it. We all have our own ways of fixing our lives. I have my way. You guys have your way of fixing your lives. I have my way of fixing my life. Just because I don't say what I did doesn't mean I'm not sorry. I have a reason for everything that I do. I have a specific reason as to why I will not go into detail. I have my reasons and those reasons are my reasons. My reasons are not invalid. Just like y'all's reasons aren't invalid. Your guys' reasons aren't invalid either and neither is mine. I have my own way of making things right. I have my own way of owning up to my mistakes. It might not be the way that the rest of the internet or whoever wants it. It might not be the way that they want it. But at least I'm still doing it. At least I'm man enough to admit to my fuck ups. At least I'm man enough to admit that I fucked up. And that I want to do better. I understand the shit that went down with Tibbs was fucked. Which I caught him on that shit even though he don't want to admit it. Yes, it was fucked up that I what I fell for with Mastral Mafia. I get that. I understand that. But dude, enough is enough. Let me move on with my fucking life and live my life, dude. Let me move on and show that I can be a better person. Like I said, I might not be suffering and being punished the way that the troll community wants. Well, guess what? The troll community doesn't fucking matter to me. The ones that matter to me are my real supporters, my friends, and my family. And the only reason why I'm not able to show my supporters like a lot of people think It's because a lot of my supporters are afraid to speak out. Because they know that they're going to get attacked. And they don't want that. They're trying to protect themselves from the troll community. Because I'm not going to lie. The troll community is very, very toxic. And very evil. 
the troll community is very fucking toxic and very fucking evil. And that's why I left YouTube and I am never coming back until YouTube fixes their shit and gets rid of the trolls like Music Biz Marty and gets rid of guys like William Glory Hole and N-Word Boy and Jay Sins and all these evil ass people that don't need to be on that platform. When YouTube gets rid of the trolls and allows me to, to show that I'm not a bad guy, then I'll come back. But I can't see that happening anytime soon. YouTube was literally killing me from the inside. YouTube was literally killing me. Mentally, emotionally, and physically. It was killing me. Psychologically, it was draining me. Like I said, I don't understand why people want to sit there and hold me responsible for my actions, but yet they don't want to hold anybody else responsible for the shit that they do. Like, why is nobody looking at Music Biz Marty? Why is nobody looking at the shit, the fucked up shit that he's done? I mean, hell, because of him, my friend Charity ended up losing her dog, and her dog ended up getting killed because of him. Literally just yesterday, her dog ended up getting kidnapped a couple days ago, and then her neighbor found it dead earlier yesterday morning. And we know that it was Music Biz Marty that did it because of the fact that she has the screenshots to show what really went down. She has those screenshots to show that. But the problem is, no one knows his actual address or where he lives to be able to do anything. The reason why N-Word Boy is not being able to be stopped is because nobody knows his actual real name. The only reason why no one's able to stop William Goriel is because of the same reason. No one knows his real name or where he's at. And people are always saying like, oh, there's, there's an open investigation on you. No, there's not. I've looked. There's not an open investigation on me. Because believe me, I've got my connections. I know how to look into shit. And I can tell you for a fact, there is no open investigation on me. It's all bullshit. It's all garbage. 99.9% .9 of the shit that's on the internet that's about me is false and fake as fuck. It's all fake shit. It's all garbage. It's all fucking bullshit. And I'll be honest, I'm tired of the fake shit being made up about me. Which, don't get me wrong, that's not hard to ignore because I, I am able to ignore that. But what I can't ignore is the fact that my life's work, the thing that I enjoy doing most, doing covers, doing music, doing gaming streams, I'm not able to do that because of these fucking vile ass people. Because they want to sit there and falsely report me and not let me start over on my life and start brand new and start a brand new fucking leaf. I want to start over so fucking bad. Like, I want to stream again so bad. I want to have my... I want to have my job back on Twitch so fucking goddamn bad. I want to be able to be on kick again and do my cover shows so fucking bad. I want to be able to, to put out good content on YouTube again so fucking badly. But I can't.
I want to show that I'm not a bad guy so fucking badly that it makes me sick. Like, I want to be better and I want to show that I'm not a bad guy so fucking bad. I understand that what I did was wrong. I understand the racist shit that I've said is wrong. And I get that. And I understand how it does make me look like a piece of shit. And you're right, it does make me look like shit. But when you're attacked so fucking much, when you're gone after so fucking much, and you're attacked on a constant basis and backed into a corner so many times, you're going to say and do shit that you would normally never say and do. And it makes me sick knowing that no one wants to let me do good. No one wants to let me do fucking better. Everybody wants to keep me in this fucking box and hold me back to my fucking past. When I want to shatter that, I want to break that stereotype of me being a pedophile and them saying that I can never change. Because they labeled me as a fucking pedophile when they themselves are pedophile supporters. I've looked into a lot of these people and a lot of them are pedophiles and pedophile supporters themselves. So in all actuality, they don't have any room to fucking talk. It's like it's cool now to label somebody as a pedophile. It's the new trend to make people look like a pedophile. To get views. Let me tell you. I don't give a fuck. About being cool. I don't care. About being the cool guy. I care about putting out good content. That people can enjoy. I care about helping people. Through their problems. I care about being there for those. That might not have anybody there for them. I care about inspiring people to be the best version of themselves that they can possibly be. I care about wanting to inspire people to follow their dreams and to be the best version of themselves that they can possibly ever be. That's what I care about. I care about pulling that one person back from the edge of suicide that might be on the edge that might not have anybody there for them. That's what I care about. I don't care about what the internet fucking says about me. I don't care about this he said, she said bullshit. No, I care about my content. I care about my people. That's what I care about. I don't give a fuck what some fucking stupid ass tabloid bullshit rag fucking says about me. I don't care about what all these drama channels fucking say about me. I don't give a fuck what these fake ass fucking documentaries that have everything wrong. I don't care what they say about me. I don't fucking care. I care about my people. I care about doing better. But like I said, it's not fair to me. It's actually very unfair to me. And more importantly, it's even more unfair to my fan base that I'm getting robbed. Because when you take away from me, you take away from people that want to see me do good. When you rob me of what I want to do, you're robbing my fan base of music they want to hear, videos they want to see, opportunities to hang out with their favorite streamer. Like, you're robbing those people of that. And more importantly, you're robbing me of being able to show that I can do better. You're literally robbing me of that opportunity. And that's not fair to me. It's not fair that I don't get to show that I can be a better person. It's not fair that I'm not allowed to show That, hey, I fucked up, but I can do better. It's not fair that I'm not being allowed to show that. 
<laughs> but instead, everybody wants to keep me in this fucking box of I'm a pedophile, I'm this, I'm that, and I'm fucking fed up with it. I'm a fucking music artist, dude. I'm a fucking goddamn music artist. I'm a fucking streamer. I'm a gamer. And good God, I have fucking clothing designs that I could drop right now if I wanted to, but can't. Because of these trolls. I have so much potential to do great. But it's like no one wants to let me do that. And I don't understand why it is that no one wants to let me fucking move on with my life. All I've ever asked is that I get a chance to do better. That's all I've ever asked. Is that I have a second chance to do better. I understand that I fucked up in my past. And I get that. I do. I fully understand that I fucked up. I completely understand that I fucked up. But I do deserve a chance to make things right and to show that I can do better. I understand I've done a lot of bad shit. I understand that some of the things that I've done to fight back could get me arrested. I get that. I understand that. I completely understand that shit. But there again, like I said... What do you expect someone to do when you constantly push them into a corner and force them into doing things they don't want to do over and over again? Any normal human being would, would fucking snap. Any normal human being would snap and flip shit after a certain point. And every time I have snapped, it was a result of the way people have treated me. People treat me like shit. Because they think I'm an easy target. They want to make money off of me. That's all it's ever been about is making money off of me. But like I said, that's why I left YouTube. Because I got tired of all this fake ass bullshit. I got tired of the fake friends. I got tired of... You know, people pretending to be cool with me and then stabbing me in the back. I come on. I lost my I lost my best friend Jake of seventeen years. My best friend of seventeen fucking years. Because of these people. My own dad ended up disowning me. Because of these assholes. I had to cut off a family member. Because they they associate with these trolls. And I'm sick of it. I'm tired of losing friends. I'm tired of losing family. I'm even more sick and tired of my mental health going to shit. And me being tired all the time. And being depressed. Did you know that because of these trolls and what they do? I now suffer from PTSD and depression. I suffer from PTSD and depression because of the seven years of hell that I've been through. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you don't suffer from PTSD. Yes, the fuck I do. Every time I see a car go by, I get scared. Even if I know, even if I know the person. Even if I know that it's one of our neighbors that I'm cool with. I still get scared. It's just automatic reaction. Because I don't know if they're going to be there. I don't know if the person driving by is going to try to hurt me or not. I don't know. And I live with depression every day because I'm always depressed. Not being able to live my life. Depressed about the fact that I wasted seven years of my life being scared. Seven years of my life wasted on some fat douchebag that doesn't fucking matter.
Every day I live with depression. Every day I live with PTSD, hoping that one day it'll all go away. You know, it's not fair that I get attacked, but yet I'm not allowed to defend myself. I get attacked and I speak the truth and I, I get silenced for speaking the truth. The real fucking truth. It's like everybody's so quick to believe a fucking lie. Everybody's so fucking quick to believe what the internet says that they don't want to see the real truth. I'm speaking the fucking truth. I always have been speaking the truth, but no one wants to hear it. No one wants to fucking hear the real fucking truth. I'm not a bad guy. I'm really not. And like I said, maybe if some of the trolls and some of y'all out there that might not think I'm a good person... Maybe if y'all sat down, stopped attacking me, stopped believing everything that you see on the fucking internet, and actually talk to me like a regular fucking human being, instead of like I'm some vile creature. If you actually sat down with me and talked to me and actually got to know me as a person, you would actually find that not only am I quite smart and quite knowledged, in a lot of various things. But you actually might find that I'm just a regular ass dude trying to make a living for his family. You might find that I'm actually a really nice person. But yet no one wants to give me that chance to, to be able to show that side. No one wants me to show that side. They all want the freak out, get mad, go crazy side of me. And I don't want that side of me. I hate that side of me. I got rid of that side of me the minute that I left YouTube. I have been embroiled in a seven long year fucking war on YouTube. And I'm tired of fighting. I fought in the troll wars and I survived. Because that's basically what that's going to be known as is the troll wars. I survived the YouTube troll wars. Because believe it or not, that's what a lot of people are calling it. In the underground, like in the underground world, a lot of people are calling it that. And I survived that shit. It wasn't easy, but I survived. I survived. I made it. I did good. Were there times where I broke down into tears? Plenty. Were there times where I wanted to kill myself? Yes. But I'm still here. I survived. All I have ever asked is for a chance to clean up my reputation. All I have ever asked is for a fair chance to do better. All I have ever fucking asked is to be able to do what I want with my life and to make a living doing something I truly love and that I'm truly passionate about. I love making people smile. I love inspiring people. I love being able to tell stories about my life through my music. I enjoy seeing the look and the joy on people's faces when they listen to my music and they say, holy shit, like this dude's good. 
Or, holy crap, I can relate to this. This guy gets what I went through. I've gotten so many messages from people asking me when I'm going to be releasing new music, but unfortunately I don't have an answer because I don't know when I'll be able to. I enjoy seeing the look on people's faces when I'm doing a gaming stream and I'm just hanging out being myself and I'm sitting there joking with people, laughing, having a good time. Like, I enjoy seeing people get something positive from my videos. I enjoy seeing people be excited to be able to play games with me and hang out and have a have a wonderful time. That's what I enjoy. I don't enjoy the hatred. I don't enjoy being angry. I don't enjoy being mad. I don't enjoy raging out. If anything, I detest being angry and being mad. I want to break that stereotype. I want to show so badly to the world that I'm not an evil person. I want to show that so fucking goddamn bad. I want to show that so fucking badly. But I don't understand why no one will give me that fair shake to be able to show that I can do better. Like I said, I understand what I did was fucked up, but I don't care who you are. I don't give a fuck who you are. We all deserve a fair chance to do better. I don't care if you murdered someone. I don't care if you've hurt somebody. I don't care if you've stolen something. I don't care if, you know, I don't care about what you've done. If you're trying to show that you're trying to do better, I can respect that. If you're actually going out of your way and trying to show that you're trying to do better, I respect the fuck out of that. I do. I respect the fuck out of that. Even if you made a mistake like what I made, I still think you deserve a fair shot. And I know I'm going to get shit for this, but I don't care. Even Tony, the Black Dragon Lord, who is a pedophile, deserves a fair chance to show that he can do better. Even he deserves that. Even though he is a piece of shit, he still deserves a chance to be able to do better, even though no one wants him to. Do I think he's a piece of shit? Yes, I do. But who am I to judge? It's not my place to judge. Somebody else. It's not my place to judge somebody else for their crimes. When I've done fucked up shit too. I understand that I've fucked up. And I deserve that fair chance. And like I said. I'm not defending Tony in any way shape or form. I'm not defending what he did. All I am simply saying. Is that even people like him can change if they want to change. And if they want to change, they should be allowed to do so. They should be allowed to show that they can do better and that they're not about that life anymore. Just like I deserve a fair chance to show that I can do better. And I want to do better. I do. I truthfully and honestly do want to do better. But how can I if no one will let me? That's my biggest question, is how is it that 
I'm supposed to show that I can do better if no one wants to let me do better. Like this whole thing of, oh, because you're a pedophile shit, that's a bullshit excuse. That's a fucking cop-out excuse. If I want to do better, I deserve that chance. That's all I'm saying. And again, the reason why I don't why I'm not going to do interviews anymore is because I'm tired of being attacked by the interviewer. I'm tired of all these hard-ass questions of, oh, why'd you do this? Why'd this happen? Why'd that happen? Oh, you you truly are this. This is what the internet's saying about you. It must be true. Like, I'm tired of it. I am sick of it. When I first started YouTube back in 2009, I knew I was going to have haters. I was prepared for it, but I was not prepared to be bullied or attacked to this extent. I was not prepared to have my life damn near fully ruined. And if people sit there and call what I'm doing deflecting, no, I'm not deflecting. It's called... I'm speaking out against what motherfuckers have done to me. I'm trying to force these people to take responsibility for their actions. It's not deflecting. It's called me trying to make people take responsibility for their actions just like they make me take responsibility for mine. I've been taking responsibility for my actions. So why isn't anybody else taking responsibility for them Making me the way that they made me. I am the way that I am because people treated me like shit. The reason why I'm so pissed off and so angry all the time. And why I do the shit that I do. Is because that's the way that people fucking made me behave. They made me act that way. By doing the shit they did to me, they made me act that way. They made me say the fucked up shit that I said. And I already can see the comments on this shit already. Oh, no one held your gun to your head. They never made you say that. Man, it don't fucking matter. How they treated me pushed me to that point. Them attacking me pushed me to that point. How you treat, how I react depends on how you treat me. If you treat me like a regular human being and treat me good and treat me chill and nice, I'm going to be respectful and nice to you right back. You treat me like shit and you keep pushing me, we're going to have fucking problems. And I'm going to say some shit that's probably going to get under your skin, that's going to piss you off, that's going to make you angry. And I'm just not going to give a fuck. You treat me like shit, I'm going to treat you like shit. You treat me like a nice guy, I'm going to show you the respect that you deserve. You show me respect, I show you respect. You disrespect me, it's game on. And whatever you say to me, I'm going to send right back to you tenfold. That's how I fucking operate. You treat me like shit, I'm going to treat you like shit right back. You treat me like a regular person and nice and calm and are cool, then we're not going to have any problems. Oh, and to the rest of the internet that believes those fake-ass stories about me, all I have to say is this. Fuck you and fuck your fake-ass stories about me. Because y'all know that y'all are just making shit up for fucking views. That's all it is. It's about the money, the views. You don't give a fuck what's true and what's not. All you give a fuck about is making money off of drama. Well, you know what they say about drama, boys. Drama don't last forever.
And it's true, it don't. Eventually, drama dies off. But yeah, I just thought I'd come on here and explain to y'all why I left YouTube, why I have no plans on coming back, how I am being treated unfairly, and why I will not be doing any more interviews. Like, I'm tired of it. So if you're going to sit there and not, like, unless I know you're a good friend of mine, like, if you're a good friend of mine, and I know you on a very personal level, and you say, hey, I want to do an interview with you. You know, I want to ask you a few questions and hang out and have a good time. If you're a friend of mine that I know on a personal level, and you ask me that, I'm down. If I know you personally and I know you're a good dude and you're not about some fuck shit, then yeah, chances are I'm going to do an interview with you if you're a personal friend of mine in real life. If I know you in real life, then yeah, I'm cool. If I know you in real life and I know you're a good dude and you're a personal friend of mine, then yeah. But outside of that, no, I am not doing any more interviews. And like I said to all y'all sitting there saying that I'm fan evading on Twitch and Kick, no I'm not. It's called I'm trying to start over. It's called I'm trying to rebuild my life that was stolen from me seven years ago. That's what I'm trying to do. Is I'm trying to start over and show that I can do better and show that I can be a better person. That's what I'm really trying to do. But yeah, y'all don't want me to do that, do you? Y'all don't want me doing that, do you? Y'all would rather sit there and watch me get fucked over, wouldn't you? Because y'all are so fucking embroiled in your own fucking belief system that's a complete joke that y'all will do anything to make sure I don't succeed. Like I said, all the shit that I've done wrong, I apologize for that. And I take accountability for every wrong thing that I've done. But God damn it, I deserve to start over. Which is why, like I said, that's why I'm leaving YouTube for good until they fix their shit. That's why I left YouTube. Because I have no interest in supporting a platform that allows the behavior of what Music Biz Marty and them do on their channel and on their platforms. I, I can't support a platform that allows what these people do. And I understand what I've done was wrong. I get it. But like I said before, all I ask is for a second chance. A second chance on any platform of my choosing. To be able to show that I can do better and that I can be better. That's all I ask is for a fair fucking chance to do better. That's all I ask is for a fair shake. As a man, that's all I ask is for a fair shake to show that I can do better and be a better person. That's all I ask. Now, with that being said, I'm going to bounce. I'm going to sit down, watch some TV, hang out. And uh, I'll see you guys whenever I see you, I guess. Peace.